Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing like a little mini haul. I placed an order on e.l.f. and Ulta. e.l.f. for Black Friday and Ulta because I needed to restock on a few things and the James Charles pop finally came back in stock. I just got a few things from e.l.f. but I still wanted to show y'all like what I got. I haven't even opened this box, like I've just slid it open. I didn't want to do just a dedicated e.l.f. haul and since there's only like three things for Ulta, like I didn't want to just do that. But I just wanted to show you that I did get some stuff. We're calling this a little Ulta and e.l.f. haul. So yeah. And I have like 20 minutes till I need to leave, but I'm just chill. I didn't put any makeup on. I just have some gloss on. Just got home from school. This is just a chill video. I know there's like more light on this side of my face, but it's fine. First, I'll start with Ulta since I opened that yesterday. I restocked on my Kelly Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil and Brunette, and I got two of them just because I'm going to repurchase it anyways. And then I also got the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer in C1. There's that. There's that. I didn't even think to like show you. I'm almost out of both of those. I actually just took the seal out of this one, so I'm probably going to be able to get like a few more uses out of this. This one is $7 and it has 0.14 ounces in it, and this one is $10 and it has 0.45 ounces in it. I feel like that's a lot better deal. And of course, the fun thing, hopefully I'm going to have a tutorial on this Thursday. It's Friday right now. Y'all are seeing this Monday as a bonus video. Hopefully tomorrow I'm going to film like a look with this. Here's the palette in all of its glory. I just taped the little name card thing up there. It's very big. I'm so excited to play with this. I already have a look that I want to do. It's actually inspired by someone else's look, but they didn't use this palette. I was like, oh my goodness, when I get that in the mail, I am recreating that. And then hopefully I'll be doing like 12 more looks for this as well because... This is just so beautiful. I guess we can swatch a few. What I'm super excited about is this gold shade in here, like just like Queen in the Jaclyn Hill palette. But the thing that's missing from that one is a light gold. And this is a light gold. And this literally looks like Get Lucky from ColourPop, which is like one of my favorite shadows ever. But I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. So that's great. This one is so cool. You know I'm going to be using this one. And I know it's like a topper, so I'm going to have to like put it over something. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. You have to rub it in like this red, like you have to rub it in. But I mean... You don't just swipe it on and then leave it there. Like, you're gonna rub it in. There's those three shadows. Now, on to Elf. Maybe I got more than I thought. Hopefully, this doesn't bother you. This is a chill video. It's okay. I'm just gonna pull out things. And I haven't, like, ordered from Elf in so long. It's been a year. I think I ordered, like, the last Black Friday sale. That's basically whenever I buy from Elf. I've, like, read on their packaging. I mean, they could have had this for, like, forever. And I just, you know, haven't ordered from them. So, the first thing I got is this Elf Matte Lip Color in Natural. So, this is what it looks like. It's a lot nicer than my old one. Here's the old one from probably like four years ago. Ooh, I actually kind of like the other shade better than this one because this one is a little too peachy pink. Here's the old one and here's the new one. The new one is more muted nude and then this one is like more peachy pink. I'm just going to do the other matte lip color. So I got praline just because like I've always wanted praline and I do have it in like the matte lip color but I don't really like that color. But I've always just wanted this because it's like the nice creamy formula. It's just like a little darker. I like how it's not too dark, too brown. And I just got a backup. This is literally the gloss I have on my lips right now. It's literally down here. It's the lip plumping gloss in Peach Bellini. And I got a little daily brush cleaner. And I also got the big one for myself. The other one is for someone else. This is the bigger size just because I use this all the time. I just got the small one for them just to see if they like it first. And I got the Glow Lotion. Nicole Renee literally raves about this product. Like she uses it in every video. It was $4 for the sale. So you might as well. There's that. I mean like you don't really see that much. It smells good. Maybe whenever I film with my James Charles palette, I will try out some of these products. And I got another one of my Elf Detail Crease Brushes because I learned this. So like have this with like backups of things. And I really want to try this Nourishing Facial Oil. I used to be really into oils like last winter. I was so into them. I just stopped using it. I miss them. Both of the oils that I have are like really old. I just really wanted to try this because this looks really good and it's from Elf. The ingredients are all just like all different kind of oils. Jojoba seed oil, sunflower seed oil, rosehip oil, avocado oil, Sweet almond oil. Half a fluid ounce in here. I thought that since like there was a bunch of smell good oils in here, that it would smell good. And it doesn't smell as bad as like the tart oil. Like I hate the smell of that one. It feels a lot more oily than all my other oils. Like you can see that. It just has a weird smell. I also got this pop of glitter makeup transformer in Turquoise Twilight. I really wanted to try one of these. Ooh. Whenever you look at it, there's like 
and then it like goes blue. It basically says you can put this on your eyes, lips, and face. I think I needed like two dollars more or something, and I already had one of these line and define eye tape. They were literally like a dollar with like the discount, and I thought that I could get them for a few of my friends. Plus, I really wanted to try them. And there's 40 in here, and like one is like really long. You could probably just cut it in half. There's one of them for both eyes, if that makes sense. I think that is all. So yeah, that was this mini haul. I hope y'all enjoyed just seeing this chill kind of video. Just getting to chat about some new products that I got. And y'all will have a shop missay probably coming like next week or maybe the week after. Just depends. Maybe the next Monday. Maybe there will be two Monday hauls in a row. I don't know. I'm just feeling like doing this bonus video because I like had a few makeup videos pre-filmed and I just don't want to do like three makeup looks in a row because I know this Thursday that I'm going to have a James Charles palette video up. I love e.l.f. I love when they have 50% off sales. Leave any video recommendations or any look recommendations that you want to see with the James Charles palette down below. If you have any of these products and what you think of them, did you pick anything up for Black Friday yourself? I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! I don't even think you could see it, but I literally had the box set behind me so you could see it. That's a fail.